Style is your first form of self-expression when you walk into a room. Before you say hello or anything else, the first thing that people will have is a reaction to what you're wearing. It can be the first way that you express who you are to the world. So that's why it's really important to be able to put together an outfit and feel extremely confident. And today I wanna to show you the different ways where you can feel like the most stylish person in the room. But first, if you haven't downloaded my fall and winter ultimate closet checklist then definitely do so down below I've got it listed in the first comment as well as in the description text and it'll be sent straight to your inbox a few thousand of you guys have already downloaded that and it's just received a lot of great feedback so don't miss out that's down there and let's get started One question that I get asked a lot is how to make outfits look intentional. And that's especially true if it's with tricky colors. I'm talking navy and black, brown and black, or even anything sort of monochromatic or tonal, similar tones. And the key here is with textures. If you make textures look different from each other, then they're going to have a lot more cleverness to the outfit. For instance, every single piece of clothing has a certain texture to it. And some are more matte than others. So more matte ones I would describe as anything cotton or twill. It could be denim, um, which is a version of twill. Canvas, I use a lot of cotton canvas in my day-to-day -day outfits. Or anything that just looks flat, like suede. That could be combined with things that are shiny, like could be a sequin, um, it could be patent leather. There's just so many different options when it comes to this. And so if I'm going to match something that's similar in tone or you know, it could be like silk and lace. You could wear something that's navy and black and that will make it look intentional and even much more clever. Just about every fashion blogger out there will tell you about this magical third piece. That means aside from your top and your bottom, what is this extra piece that you're going to layer on to your outfit to create more interest and more style? Some examples of this could be a hat or a vest, a cardigan, even an overcoat would count here or just layering on more than one top. The trick is that a lot of these items that are third pieces would be something that isn't necessarily practical. It's more just for the sake of style. With or without this third piece, you will be having a focal point on something that you're wearing. And so it's better to be intentional about what that piece is. So where do you wanna draw focus to your outfit? That is really the goal with this hero statement piece. You're going to decide where the focal point is and you can put so much more self-expression that's unique to you. It could be a statement skirt, it could be something printed, or just something completely unique and expressive. So again, this could be something not very practical, but it also could be. It could be an overcoat that you have to wear to keep warm, or it could be a pair of shoes. And that pair of shoes could be essential, but it's also an amazing pair of shoes that is a conversation piece. One of the last things that I started investing in for myself when I started over on my personal style was accessories. I didn't really have anything but like one basic purse that would just get the job done. And I really hadn't invested very much in shoes or anything else for that matter, uh, except for those basic pieces that I needed to begin my journey over with. But I have to say that I went back to something my mom told me a long time ago, which is if you just have basic, you know, black pair of pants and a black shirt, then that could be very inexpensive. And you could layer accessories on top of it, ones that you'd have forever, like heirloom pieces. And suddenly those pieces that you're wearing underneath look more expensive. How much would that outfit if you were imagining it actually cost. That is something where you could draw back your budget on those basic pieces. And then instead of putting that money into the clothing, you could put it into accessories that you would be able to have for years and then be able to pass down. So it's actually quite a good strategy if you want to 
add more money into accessories like purses, like jewelry, where your money will not be lost. Specifically regarding jewelry, one person asked me one time if I could make a video where I show making an outfit without any jewelry on. And so that made me question, why is jewelry so important? Why do I add that to every single outfit? And I had to say there were a lot of different reasons why I would still add it every day. Unless I had a dress code that enforced no jewelry, I would still wear it because it's going to first add bling, like I was saying earlier with that example of every outfit looks more expensive. But then also jewelry is a way of adding a focal point to your outfit and it can really help you with your body silhouette. If you needed to add more emphasis to the top, then that would definitely contribute that way. And then also they are a talking point. So anytime that you need to break the ice with someone new, uh, then this is a really great way to do that. And I would say rings or earrings are especially true of just having that icebreaker, that talking point. I had an interesting conversation last week on Instagram where everybody was just really involved in talking about this one idea, which is how much of your self-expression is coming through in the clothes that you wear and what you're expressing yourself to, to the world. And there could be different styles because one part of me really loves romantic movies and anything that is feminine and you guys know I love puff sleeves I love anything that's super like cottage chic but then there's this other side of me that doesn't feel fully expressed by only wearing that because I also love moody things I love indie music I love a lot of like rock styles and all this and so I have this Enneagram 4 like moody side of me that has a little nothing to do with the cottage chic side of me that's feminine and just happy. <laughs> I have this juxtaposition and it's something that a lot of people have too and they feel lost when trying to express both versions of themselves to the world. What I suggest to do is combine them. You could wear something very feminine with something a little bit edgier and that could be a way where you can truly express who you are without copying a different person's style. This is the number one reason why people shy away from expressing themselves through their clothes. And as a result, it's the reason that holds people back from being the most stylish person in the room. So I want you to think for a moment, what are the things that you're scared of people saying about you and your style? And imagine you being the one to say those things verbally, something negative about someone else's style. Number one, it could be just flat out jealousy, or maybe you felt like, that was expressing a good thing about their style and it just wouldn't land right. Might be just completely unintentional. Or it could be that you feel shy about wearing that and so you're just saying, wow, that's a really bold statement for you to make. Those are some reasons, but honestly, any reason that you come up with, is it good enough to be able to live your life around? And the answer is always no, because you're only going to be in this life at the age you are at right now for so long. It's going to be very temporary. And so why would you not live your life to the fullest right now and express yourself in the truest way possible with your style? The thing is, when you start embracing your own uniqueness in your style, that's going to give other people around you permission to do the same. So it's actually quite a good thing, not only for yourself, but for the entire community around you to be able to have each person express themselves as truly as they can with their style. And those are my five ways where you can be Become the most stylish person in the room and I hope you guys have an awesome day bye right now things are looking dark and dangerous always creeping up but you see